Select a character. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure Episode 6. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. And I'm here for the ride. I'm here to ready to go fast. We are going to go fast. In fact, we've been going fast, and really, we're only going to be going faster. Yes! So last time, if you uh, don't remember, uh, we fell out of a plane and about broke our neck. Oh, so we are okay. But we're okay now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go try and find Tails. He's probably somewhere around here. It, it, you know, whatever. No, he's probably fine. He can use those extra tails, that extra tail, just like a... You know how you have to jump out of a plane and there's like a little uh, thing to catch you? Mm -hmm. Maybe he can use it like that. All right. All right, so essentially we're going to be running around the city trying to figure out how to trigger the next flag. I never thought of Sonic Adventure as a flag tripper game. Eh, you'd, you'd be surprised. This game really gives you a lot of surprises. Hmm, let's ask the puffball. Why don't you try going to the casino? <laughs> okay, okay. Gamble uh, your life away! This is interesting. The subway is on... Or the, the train is on strike. Oh! It makes it so that you don't get lost. Yeah, because everything is going to happen here in Station Square, and if you go to the Mystic Ruins, you're just going to confuse you're just going to confuse yourself even further. So, well, that's kind of clever. Good job on you, Sega. See, I've recently discovered why it is I like Sonic games, and we'll get to that later. But first, long time no see. <laughs> Amy. You're what's wrong with me. So you need to be his bodyguard for a while. You must be kidding. If you don't, we're just Amy, I shouldn't have to tell you this. Well, maybe you're not clued in, but uh Tails might be, you know, bleeding. He might be dying. Well, I don't know if we're running away from Amy or if Amy's not with us. She's currently in your back pocket. Anyway, uh, the reason why I like these modern Sonic games is because of the clever level design, and they, they just... They're, they're not clever anymore. It's just boring and stupid and <laughs> tedious, and I'm trying to move here. Thank you. Ugh. But really, I do. I, I, I do like this game. Still. Still. Well, have you noticed that a lot of modern games for basically any franchise, they kind of... They lost the spark. Yeah, here the spike, the uh, spark is in full force. In a matter of speaking. Did you walk around the whole city? Did you walk around? <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. So in Amy's story, she's being chased by this random robot. No problem. He's just a chunk of cheesy hardware. <laughs> like the Sega Saturn. Oh! Oh! Yeah, Eat that Saturn. Oh yeah. Now what? I actually own a Sega Saturn with Sonic R, so that's the only reason to own a Saturn. So there's no reason to own a Saturn. Because <laughs> I have Sonic R for the GameCube. Amy! You cheated. <laughs> oh man! I think I've heard of this level. Oh. Yeah, Twinkle Park is where we are heading next. Yeah, that was it. Amy's gone and run off. Robot's going after her. Now we're going after her. Everyone's just going crazy in the goddamn amusement park. So here we go. Twinkle fucking park. Stage five. All right. So we've gone to a casino. We're going to an amusement park. This game is all sorts of fun. We're going everywhere all, all at once. And it's bumper cars. Whoa. <laughs> well, sign me the hell up. No kidding, that's awesome! Mini games inside my big Sonic game? Of course. Oh yeah, I mean, this, this is a pretty big game when you think about it. Ah, shit. Eh, eh. <laughs> Ooh. Dangerous, dangerous. You'll be able to Please watch out for other players. The enemy driving it. Okay. So now we're good. We're in a car now. Eh. We're in the car now, got it. Alright, and, uh, well, uh... Do a quick drive around for some extra rings. Rolling around at the speed. Okay, here we go. Well, now it's time for the real raceway. <laughs> Whoa! Look how fast you're going. I know, right? 
Oh, and those two, they had wives and, <laughs> wives and kids to go home to, and you just killed them. Yeah, they deserved it. <laughs> they shouldn't have... They, hey, they shouldn't have been lazing around on the fast rail track, whatever this is. Right, right. You, like, you're in the lane that's going 75, they accidentally went over to that lane when they wanted to go slow. And they're just standing there. They're not <laughs> doing anything. We'll stop that Sonic yet! Huh? You know, I almost thought this was going to be an all-indoor level, so there was no way you could kill yourself by going off an edge, but uh, now this happens. This is just the first pl the first part of the level. Jeez. We have barely begun today. Can you Tokyo Drift it? Probably, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, just, just you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's gotten to the point where, you know, you and I talk Sonic, and you just talk one thing, and it's just like, I know. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I know. Mm. <laughs> it's a mutual understanding about the uh, <laughs> exactly. finer nuances of the hedgehog. He's in a car? Yeah, yeah. It's like, he's going super fast in a bumper car, and all we can do is go, mm, yeah. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm, yep, yeah, yep. That's certainly going fast in a car. But now for the fun part. Holy Roller crap. coaster! All right. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's too bad you don't get to control it at all. Well, it fits with the aesthetic, you know. Yeah, yeah. That was actually yep. very cinematic. Good job, and guys. Now bowling. Aww. Oh. Shit, I missed. Oh well. Oh, they'll give me another shot. That sucks. It's so supposed is, to spill out rings, but we'll get another shot at another one later. Okay, is that just part of uh, one of the other level completion things? I don't... Well, yeah, getting a hundred rings, and the better you do, and the less you get hit like that. Oh, okay. Which you'll have. Alright, uh, let's try bowling again. Boom! Eh, good enough. <laughs> we still get rings for it, though. That's a three. It's commendable. Ah. Aww. And these are jerk offs. Come on, dude. And now a merry-go-round! Of death! Yeah. Oh. Pretty much. What the hell kind of place is this? <laughs> Eggman Land! Did he already take over Twinkle Park? I guess. I mean, this looks like it takes place in the solar system, so... The amusement park is the first thing to go! <laughs> I guess I can't get that item up there, because I fucked up the jump. Oh. Ah. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a mutual <laughs> understanding of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean... This game's almost 20 years old. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, man. Now you're just showing every route, correct? Yeah, that's it. That's That's gotta be it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to play bad at a Sonic game. Oh, Lord, no. Uh, especially not one that uh, glitches out on you and doesn't really run, run as well as it should. <laughs> well, exactly. I wouldn't dare. It's not all my fault! Yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that. Yeah, I will, because it's the truth. <laughs> yeah, I know. I will! <laughs> ah, like that? God! <laughs> okay, that was my fault. My fault entirely. <laughs> when all else fails. Really, it's faster to just die and go back to the checkpoint with how far I fell. Well, you got tons of lives. Might as well use them. I'm, all, I'm doing okay, so... It's kind of strange how I went through the fucking bars, oh. though. That was strange. Well, you took advantage of the game's glitches. This isn't cheating at all. There's where things get a little bit uh, confusing. Oh. Just, just slightly. Mm. This technically should not work, but it totally did. All right. It did, yep. You think, wait, another one? Did I just go around in a complete circle? Oh no, my friend. You did not. It's just another one. Oh, that looks so weird. That animation does not work on slants. I know, it's... yeah. 
That's why I'm saying it shouldn't have worked. It, it did, so that's good. And, uh, you know what's bullshit? Huh. That's the, that's the end. That's all? That's it. Over. Uh huh? Yes! The... The... Oh, okay, there we go. He kept trying to find the camera. Yeah, not bad. It's like he, uh, focuses his, uh, his gaze to the animals as they go by. Hmm. What do the animals do? I'll save them for later. Probably towards the end. The There's game. a plot point? No, no, it's not a plot point. It's just another part of the game that I should probably show off at some point. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot! I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled right Oh, darn. I lost Amy. catch her before it does. Yeah, we better hurry and catch her before it does. But... There's a Twinkle Circuit minigame over here. Oh, more minigame fun. We can go and take care of Amy next episode, but right now, I think we should do some motherfucking racing. Oh, that's awesome. Is this just a ring bonus, or does it give you something else? It's just a minigame. Oh, okay. It gives you an emblem at the end, so it's another thing to get, I guess. <laughs> you did mention this was a 100% run of Sonic Adventure, right? What? <laughs> I never said that. Well, I can the, imagine it is. The only 100% I need is the gauge right next to the characters. I'd say we're about 55% done with Sonic's story now. Hmm. So this goes based on a percentage structure that you just beat the level, right? You don't have to do all the extra crap. Nah, it's only if you want. And I don't want, so I won't. Okay. Because I noticed a lot of modern Sonic games, they have you do everything for 100%. Yeah, they they have you do a lot of extra shit over and over again. They make you backtrack a whole lot, and that's why I'm glad that the two adventure games don't really do that. They each have their own unique levels. Whereas Sonic Heroes, it's literally the same game four times. <laughs> You've got the main game, you've got a slightly harder version of the main game, you've got a slightly easier version of the main game, and then you've got a scavenger hunt version of the main game. But it's all practically the same levels and the same challenges and everything. I think I only played the first level of that game, and I was good with it. I mean, even Sonic Unleashed makes you go back over levels to make sure you get those medals. Which, that was a pain, I admit. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I was just thinking, Sonic Colors, the only thing that I can remember they had you do, it was still on a level-by-level -level basis and just getting through the story, but if you wanted to, there were four uh, red rings in every level. Yeah, we know the problem with or Sonic five. Colors. Mm. It, was, it was boring as shit. Oh, that was an awesome game. What are you talking about? Oh, God, I don't remember a damn thing about that game, except, like, maybe a, a couple of songs and some harder levels towards the end, but... It was just so easy and just so inconsequential as a game, I just didn't get invested at all. Well, for somebody who isn't a Sonic fan at all, I thought it was really fun. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's just... Yep, it's a Sonic game. Well, then Generation saved everything. Yeah, that that, that is a, that's a great game. Yes, it is. Well, our uh, rant about Sonic games has now come to a close, as well as this circuit minigame. Two and a half minutes, not bad, not bad. Get you an emblem, and then game's over. Hmm. Well, it's kind of a lackluster finish. Here's your medal, go on home. Yeah, pretty much. I thought there would have been something a bit more... Welcome to Twinkle Park. Huh. You see, beating the circuit in under two minutes makes it so that Amy doesn't die. Oh, right, I forgot about her. Well, we'll go take care of her next time on Sonic Adventure. Sounds good. Oh, wait, but first... <gasps>